Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPad 10th generation and compare it against the iPad Air 5 and see which specific iPad is the better one for you. Now, in this day and age, these two are a little tiny bit different, but there's clearly a winner here. I think the iPad Air 5 is a way better iPad than the 10th gen of, you know, iPad. So if you want to pick up any of the iPads, I'd recommend buying this here. Links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these iPads, the iPad 10th generation has that essentially almost like a 10.9 inch display. It's a liquid retina IPS and it's a very good looking display. And I always felt like the iPad 10th generation had a decent display. It's not anything above 60 hertz on this panel, but it's still a very good looking display. You're getting a little bit of bezel around it, but I don't think it's as good as the iPad Air 5's display, which is a 10.9 inch liquid retina you know, display. These ones have the P3 white color, has true tone, and it also has an anti-reflective coating on the iPad 5th generation, iPad Air 5, and I definitely do think that is a better iPad for sure than the iPad 10, at least on the front. Now, they both have USB-C ports at the bottom, but there's a slight difference here. With the iPad 10, this one supports Apple Pencil 1, the iPad Air 5 supports Apple Pencil 2. This is the difference between actually buying a dongle and plugging in a wire to your iPad 10 generation versus having a wireless method on your iPad Air 5 that basically you can just plug into the top you know, side of your iPad. In my opinion, if I'm somebody who uses an Apple Pencil a lot, I don't see why I would use something like an iPad 10. I would much rather prefer something like an iPad Air 5. The difference between an Apple Pencil 1 and 2 features wise isn't much, but the difference between charging it is a big annoyance for me. And I would much rather just charge it via the iPad Air 5 rather than, rather than the iPad 10. On the back, flat sides and flat backs on both, the cameras in the top left corner. And beyond that, they are very similar. If you gave the average person an iPad Air 5 and an iPad 10, I don't think they'd be able to tell too many differences between these two on the exterior. So that might be an advantage for the iPad 10 because it is a cheaper iPad. In terms of the camera lineup, again, single cameras on the back. So you're getting a 12 megapixel wide angle camera on both of them. And you're also getting 12 megapixel ultra wide cameras on the front. Now you can do 4K video on the back of these, which is great. And on the front, you actually can do 1080p on the front of both these, which is nice as well. And I will probably tell you with both these cameras, they're very good for what you're paying for. You're not really paying for the best camera between these two. Like you're just getting an average type of camera, you know, sensor between these. So that's something that's really cool. And between both, I think that's like a really big advantage between both these iPads that their cameras are actually fairly solid. Again, they're not perfect, but they definitely get the job done. And I'm very, very happy with both these cameras. Now, moving on to basically another area between these is the software longevity. I definitely don't know which one is going to last longer between these two iPads. I would have assumed, first of all, that maybe the iPad Air 5 could last longer. But if you kind of think about it, the A14 Bionic chip kind of came out in 2020. If you look at the iPad Air 5 with its M1 chip, that one may, I mean, it came out like early 2021 or something like that, or like late 2020. Because of that, I don't really know which one is going to last the longer one here. If I had to guess again, maybe it was the iPad Air 5 or something, but between these two, I genuinely don't know which one is going to last longer. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens, but they're definitely not going to be lasting like way separately from each other. They're going to be roughly around the same time, in my opinion. Performance wise, this was a really big difference between these two. So you have to keep in mind here that with the, you know, iPad 10th generation, this is an iPad that has basically like the iPhone 12 chipset inside. So the A14 Bionic chip, it's basically as fast as an iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. With the iPad Air 5 with the M1 chipset, it is basically as fast as the M1 MacBook Pros or even an M1 iMac. That is a really big difference. You are getting basically a desktop you know, chipset instead of the iPad Air 5. And that's not even the most expensive iPad you can buy. It's like a mid-tier iPad. So when you kind of think about it like that, it does kind of change the perspective a tiny bit because on an iPad like the yeah, M1 iPad you know, Air 5, you're definitely getting probably the faster device. You're getting a faster chipset and it makes sense. I think with the iPad 10, it's good for what you're getting. It's actually still a very, very fast chipset. Don't get me wrong, but you are definitely getting the faster one on the iPad Air 5 for sure. So to kind of sum up this comparison, what I'll tell you is I definitely do think between these two iPads, you're definitely getting the better iPad, I think on the iPad Air 5 for sure. But I think the iPad 10 is still like a decent iPad. And if you want to go buy it, go for it. But if you're somebody who uses an Apple Pencil or you want an iPad that's going to last you longer, I'd probably just recommend buying the iPad Air 5 when it comes down to it. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.